Greetings Rangers, welcome back to the Ag Center in Wasteland 2. We have been through the mushroom caves, we did not find any valves, so unfortunately it does look like we're going to try to have to pass through this corridor filled with poison gas. We start, we're starting with the west one because it said it has only one valve according to the computer thingy over there. I have borrowed a dagger and we're gonna go in solo. Because we see that we can cut these vines here. There's no reason to get everyone injured. Those fumes in the ventilation tunnels look toxic. You're either gonna have to run through there fast, or you're gonna have to get all the fans running. It might clear it out. Working on it. We are poisoned. Hopefully, there are no enemies in here. Okay, this looks to be a safe place. So I think that everyone can go here. Everyone run to this location. Rangers, you promised Jan you'd keep her secret. I'm disappointed. Her mood will be worse. So many dead before their time. Excuse me, what now? That's not what you said. What secrets? What the hell is she talking about? Woodrow J, some sort of skin infection, like a druid cast too many bark skins on him. <laughs> oh, I love that. I sleep pee. This woman has a forest of herbs growing out of her skin. You, you're surprised that no one has rolled her up and smoked her like a joint. Olson A, smells like soup from a swamp. Winham J, he looks like he got lashed through the ice. Ugh. Holland A, this corpse smells like it came from the Ranger Citadel's compost pile. I see. Well, there's a fan. I don't think that's gonna do much, though. Well, you guys stay in here. I'll equip my trusty rifle and... Just keep on moving. It is locked. Which means, unfortunately, Sethara is gonna have to go and lock pick it. Run, girl, run. You do not have hit points to spare. Good, now run back to safety. Let me move in your place, because I am... Um... Ooh, I thought that was something dangerous. Looks like a giant fly used its overgrown mandibles to chew through the side of this maintenance robot. Surely someone with some skill in computer systems or repairs could suture the sundered machine. Well, damn. Uh, run back. Rose, it's your turn to shine. Poor bastards. Killed by their own plants. Yes, we've been seeing that everywhere. Um Use computer skill? 100 percent simple. Okay. Received five energy cells. The fumes are unpleasant. The toxic ruminations of those fungal growths must all be collecting in the ventilation system. <coughs> I'm sorry, we're working on it, Rose. I thought this would be easier with only one fan, but it seems... I'm starting to think that maybe Highpool is doomed. With the blades inert, you can walk clear to the other side with no pesky chopping of limbs whatsoever. 
This looks to be... Okay. No, you're gonna have to go solo. Okay. That seems fine. Now you're gonna have to run through... Gather your squad and travel to Westfield. All squad members will go to the new location. How? Because they are stuck over there. Oh, does it work like this? Rangers, you're going into the outer fields now. I'm afraid our camera coverage is a lot spottier out there, so I won't be able to help as much. Good luck. Welcome to the Westfield, Rangers. Lots of experimental fruits and veg. Not to mention a large rabbit population, so it's sure to be dangerous. Find the generator that's gone off the rails and find some way to get it back online. Do not just blow it up. I know that comes naturally to meatheads like you, so try to restrain yourself. Hey now! We haven't blown up anything yet. Right, so... We actually can... Ab ab not abandon. Leave our troops in a strategic location, and then everyone just magically was able to traverse the now spinning fan. Because I thought that this ladder would take me up to the west greenhouse, and then I would have to run around and get these people that would be stuck. But no, we're now outside somehow. And it seems like there are a lot of enemies. It sounds very creepy. Could just be the vines, though. What did you see? Right. We get through that with minimal loss of health. Although... 10,000 seconds. A door. Spotty camera. Ooh. Hey now. Are these... Pigeons, pop, 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 pop. Honeydew Lewis strikes a giant rabbit, causing 16 points of damage. Interesting. There's more to the egg center than I thought. Way more. Can I? Can I loot the pigeon cages? We can pick up some pigeon shit! Everyone loves some pigeon shit! Runny, goopy, generally disgusting pigeon shit! Why is it not junk? Why did the pigeons go pop? This place really needs some pruning. Oh, two girls there! I'll put a hole in your head or the size of a tangerine! One of our mutant ones. Hey now, old timer. No need to be so aggressive. A wiry old gent in a tweed jacket and gardening apron. He has a bristly moustache and a burlwood pipe clambered between his teeth. Strew! Struth? Struth? Rose, is that you? And still human, thank God. Madam, you are a sight for sore methane-stung eyes. Lovely to see you as well, Mr. Lewis. Lovely to see you as well, Mr. Lewis. Please, Rose, how many times do I have to ask you to call me Jacob? Are you safe? Are you well? Is it secret? Is it safe? Perfectly well, Mr. Lewis, and safe under protection of these rangers. Thank you. You seem to have succeeded in defending your melons. Melon. So far, but I cannot say for how long. If these rangers don't shut down the irrigation system, it may all be for naught. My patch may go as mad as the rest of the center. 
Hmm. When did this madness start? Well, it all started a few hours ago. The rapidly increasing growth, the appearance of those spitting tumors, the erratic behavior of my colleagues, and these ravening rabbits. Sabotage, I'm sure of it. Deliberate sabotage. Kiss ass. Well, let's save that one. You think someone did this on purpose? It saddens me to say it, but yes. I, I fear it was one of our own, and I have a strong suspicion as to who. That Sue fella. I've had my eye on him from the beginning. Always reading unsavory books, always mumbling to himself, always skulking around with no purpose. I tried to befriend him at first when he seemed to take an interest in my melons and my breeding techniques, but then I cut the fellow off. He kept talking about knocking our walls down and letting the plants be free. I told Forrestal and Miss Larson about it, but they didn't listen. Thought it was another one of my obsessions. Well, they'll see now, won't they? Shoulda nipped that viper in the bud. Uh -huh. Anything to say about Matt Forrestal? Yeah, fine, upstanding young man. Happy to work for such an able leader. What can you tell me about Kathy Lawson? She may have an acid tongue, but she's a damn fine researcher. Always very encouraging about my melons. Can you tell us where we can find this Sue fellow? Right in hell, hopefully. But if he's still alive, he's probably lurking in his quarters at the end of the field. Near where you entered. What kind of garden patch do you have? A melon patch. I have embarked on a noble quest to bring back this dour and devastated world, God's greatest gift to the appetite of man, the honeydew melon. And I will not allow any army of haughty cultural, cultural horrors to destroy my dream. As you can see, as soon as I noticed things going awry, I rushed here and tore out all the irrigation pipes before the toxic brew could reach my precious plants. I fear, however, it's only a temporary respite. I will doubtless be overwhelmed by the rest of the mutated mess, but not by God until I am dead and my last fuel spent. So what's so special about honeydew melons, apart from the fact that they're Utterly delicious. They are the pinnacle of God's creation, the supreme delight on this earth. The others may mock me, they may call me old honeydew, but I know this. If a fruit can save the world, it is this fruit. For how could anyone, having savoured its sweet and mellow flesh, have an unpeaceful thought? What do you think of the Desert Rangers? Eh, my opinion of you will rise if you save this place, that's for certain. Where's the irrigation system control? It's in the shed on the east side of this enclosure. Get there as quick as you can and get that pump shut down. The regulator assembly is broken, so you'll need to find a new one in order to close it. I know our mechanics keep spares somewhere. I just don't know where. I suppose you could also disable it in a more final fashion, but I doubt Dr. Lawson will approve. In any case, stopping it won't reverse what's happened, but at least it will stop things from getting worse. Well, you know, we cleared a path, you can escape the way we came. What? Me? Leave? Leave my precious melons? I'll die first. Go, rescue the others, I'm staying right here. Wait, Rose, you must at least allow me to accompany you through my own field. I cannot leave my melons. But were you to perish here, I would soon die myself. Honeydew, you madman. Why are you still here? Get to safety. That man has melons on the brain, but so handsome. If only... Just show him your lady bumps. I'm sure he'll appreciate your melons over his melons. Now. Oh, he sure is following us. 
You could almost make a home out of these vegetables. Glistening in the dew, you can smell the sense of sweet sense of hope and prosperity that Mr. Lewis kept going on about. If any fruit could heal the world, maybe, just maybe, this is the one. So, this is Sue's house. was about to say, Sue is living here somewhere. A small house built into the compound's outer wall. The oozing carcasses of a handful of giant insects surround the front door. No, no corpses there. And the walls are spattered with their viscous juices. The windows are locked and shuttered and the front door is closed. Closed, you say? Well, we can just lockpick that now, can't we? Even do a critical success out of it. Oh, Sue, are you home? Hmm. A little furniture and a lot of books. Why is that in green? Books on the table, books on the chairs, books on the bed. There's also an unconscious man behind the door. A spent pistol loose in his hand. His head is bruised and he's got puncture wounds all over. I don't see no man. Because this wall is in the way. Oh, there he is. Hey, it's Sue! Whoop. Keep forgetting about... Pardon me while I... The titles are mostly politics and philosophy, leaning towards the love thy brother and share the wealth end of the spectrum. Flipping one open, you see a lot of fevered underlining and notes in the margins. Feed the world is repeated in several places. There is a suitcase under the bed. In it, you find glass jars filled with a wide variety of seeds, all labeled... Super carrots, mega squash, and normal berries, etc. The title is almost. Oh, okay. Okay, so. Okay, we already found the suitcase. I see. Uh, amongst the dirty plates and piles of books, you see a scattering of seeds of unusual size. Do they come from the extra large fruits and veggies outside? Who knows? Stupid wall. Well, this one's locked. Oh no, Sue. The boy is a goof up, but he doesn't deserve to die like this. Can you heal him, Rangers? I guess so. Go for it, Rose. Seems like you, your surgeon is higher than. I'm alive, that's unexpected. Something sharp and barbed got a hold of all this man got a hold of this man's guts. He needs immediate complex medical attention. For some reason reason, his boots are covered in pigeon shits. The young man groans and opens his eyes and then looks up at you. He frowns, frowns in pain and confusion. Looking much more spry than before, Seuss. Dance? Well, well, hunches, really. Before you, with a look of ragged defiance. His boots are covered in pigeon. Shit. Probably. Sweet Christ! I... I thought those fucking flies had killed me for sure! Ugh. Thanks for the assist, Rangers. Right? Rangers, right? I'm Sue, I'm a research assistant here, and I help Matt with the business end of things, too. Uh, do you know that you're accused by uh, many a people to be the saboteur in this place? You're a boy named Sue? Who gives a shit? Ah, uh, don't get me started. Blame my foster parents. They wanted a girl. I tried to change it to Jack once, but people would call me Jack and I wouldn't realize that they were talking to me, so I went back to Sue. Yeah. What do you think of Matt Forrestal? Oh, he's a great boss. I wish Kathy was more like him. What do you think of the Desert Rangers? Excellent! Matt must have called you in. Well, I'm glad you're here. Shit has gone a little out of hand. 
How did things get out of hand? I have no idea what happened. Everything's just mutating like crazy. Mutant plants, mutant insects, mutant seeds. The seeds are mutating too? I literally saw seeds splitting and sprouting creepers in a matter of seconds. It was freaky. What can you tell us about the insects? Ah, those fuckers nearly killed me. A June bug as big as a watermelon slammed into my head. I thought it bashed my brain cells. What's going on with the plants? They were always big, but never this big. It's like they got super fertilized somehow. You've never seen plants this big before? You yeah, haven't even seen, the, seen this kind of growth, except down in Skinner's Mushroom Caves. Ooh. Skinner runs the Mushroom Caves? I actually shouldn't call them Skinner's Caves, he just works there, you know? Dr. Herbison runs the place, but Skinner's the one who's always there. Herbison only goes down there to take samples. So what do you think of Skinner? Oh, he's the muckraker down in the muck mushroom caves. Muckroom caves. Keeps them in the dark and feeds them shits. Ha! He's kinda in the dark himself. Good family man and all, but just, you know, a company man. Does his job and doesn't think about it. So why? So why do you have pigeon shit all over your boots? Huh? Oh, right. On my boots. Uh, I was feeding the pigeons today when everything started going crazy. Well, good news, you don't have to worry about the pigeons anymore. Why do you have pigeons? They are our communications network. Slower, but more reliable than the radio. They take messages from us to all the towns around here, even Ranger Citadel. Why do you have seeds in that suitcase under your bed? That's... that's my collection! I want to be like Rose and Kathy someday, not just an assistant. I want to be a full-fledged researcher, so I'm researching. Smartass. Oh, you seem much smarter than any assistant. Tell us more. Mm, well, you seem like you get what I'm talking about. So, okay. See, this place is a miracle. We grow enough food to feed every community in the wastes, but most of it just sits here. Matt's working on our distribution, for sure, and Kath is trying to make the plants and veggies smaller and more portable, but there's no time for all that. People are starving now. Kath is so worried about letting our secrets out that she's letting people go hungry. Well, fuck that. All those seeds? I feed them to the pigeons, and then I send the pigeons off to other communities. When they get there, they shit out the seeds and boom, instant garden. Genius, huh? All these books, and you haven't got the sense nature gave a turnip. So you're the one who's been stealing my seeds. Ooh, ooh, busted. Did you send out any of the mutant seeds by chance? What? Oh, shit, sweet Jesus on a popsicle stick. I did, yes. I put fresh seeds in the pigeon feed and sent half a dozen of them out right before all hell broke, broke loose. Oh, what have I done? I've spread mutation everywhere. What a fucking idiot. Yes, you are. Oh, so we're going to have mutated plants all over the wasteland. Hmm. Hopefully only mutated plants and not mutated insects. Hang on now, what do you mean everywhere? What do I mean by everywhere? Shit, let me think. Um, okay, write this down. I think I sent out three pigeons. Well, that's not everywhere. Infected farm. Infected pump station, infected village. I'm gonna have to go to these places, don't I? That's all of them, I think. Will you take care of this for me? The shape I'm in, I'll... I'd never make it. I'll make it up to you. I promise. I got access to some cool shit. Ah, uh, we're rangers. We're gonna do it. Thank 
Thank you, and please don't tell Matt or Kathy. I've learned my lesson. I won't pull another stunt like this, I swear. What does feed the world mean? That's my philosophy, yeah. We shouldn't leave the means of feeding the people in the hands of the few. Everybody should be able to feed themselves. Food for all. Bye. Thanks again for saving my life and everything else, you know. I owe you. I'm just gonna lockpick your fate here. We never left, dude. All your shit is mine. Faded pin, utility pack, and some junk chest plates. A utility pack? Faded pin. Faded from years of sun exposure and, and abuse, you can barely make out the words hungry like the wolf. We have a junk chest plate. Yeah, that's a junk chest plate, all right. I think we'll just... I don't like the look of that. What is this? Outdoorsman's pack. Does it matter which pack I use, or...? I mean, everyone already has a pack. I'd say no. I mean, it's basically clothing, I guess. It says on it. Now that does look a little more proper for you, my melee person. Yes. You can keep it. What does my pack look like? That's good. Your pack is a little bit on the small side. Yours is good too. Right, Rangers. Let's find us that irrigation system. It's supposed to be here somewhere. Let us get away from these walls. We can't loot them, rabbits. Another locked door. We can. Ooh, hello. Oh, we can. We can dig up a grave. I don't think so. An inscription scraped into the stone base of this makeshift tombstone reads, Here lies Harry the Bunny Master, reposing with rabbits. Something seems to be buried here. Yeah, probably a corpse. We are not digging up a corpse. We are not grave robbers. We are burglars, though. I mean, we're here to save the Ag Center. Everything we find could be of use. Just, come on, channel your inner lock-picking lawyer and just get that lock open. I've never seen him fail, so go for it. You can do it. I believe in you, sir. Thank you. Critical success. Hmm, this pump is broken, the flow regulator is missing, and the tainted nutrient mix is flooding into the irrigation system completely unchecked. If you want to stop it, you'll either need to replace the missing regula regulator, or find a way to kill the power to the pump. I kinda wanna... Let's see, she wants them still in one piece, so we can't blow them up. Now the problem with the irrigation system is that the thing is tainted, and it sounds like if we replace the flow regulator, we'll get back to non-tainted irrigation system. And I don't want the food to die out, so... In the... In the interest of trying to feed as many people as possible <coughs> and help as many people as possible we're gonna try and fix it 
We just need to know where the engineers are storing their extra flow regulators. Well... Okay, keep forgetting who's... Who oh! I was trying to get into position. It's fine. Oh no. You're definitely infected. Okay, I don't want to shoot a rabbit that's in the middle of everything. I'm gonna go over here, crouch down, and shoot that sucker! Shoot the fence! Those little jumps always mm, unnerve me. How many of you are there? Foolish. Seven freaking rabbits. Well, slice them up. Nice. Oh, you could really use a heal. Ooh. Pills? Please go and heal Seth, heal Seth over here. Thank you. Wait, that used to... Oh, yeah. What's that? Shoot it. Yep, 44% on all of them. That ain't good. So, might as well try. Nice. Rose? Would be so nice. If I move here, fire on... Mm, I can't get an angle. Oh, oh wait, wait, I can. Aw, only hit one. Well, poop. I can punch him to death, I guess. <laughs> I actually did. <laughs> Just crouch down, man. He rose alone. Bleeding, good, good. Now, don't have very many shots left. I'm gonna have to start saving. Oh, Angela. Ooh. Oh, I don't care about him. Never mind. He's fine. That's not fine. I need more armor for my troopers. And this is why we have the dagger in our offhand. Damn, I can't attack diagonally. Why can't you attack diagonally with a dagger? I'm guessing because it's not very long. Maybe if you had a sword or something. Are there swords? I would love a sword. Phew. Dang it. All right, let's see, you have nine. Take two away, and we have seven, so we can spend one AP on moving.
just hit and run. Ah, good. There, that's the last of them. Better check on my melons, if you'll excuse me, rangers. So he's leaving us. All right. Now we can make a lot of sexy bunny costumes. And even more luck tokens. Luck items. Now where did that rabbit's foot end up? There we go. I think I gave the last one to Cold Eye, so... You can use a little bit of luck too. Everyone could use a little bit of luck. So these fields should be safe now. Safe to explore, kind of. Oh, I want that. I want that. Everyone reload. How are we doing? 9,000 seconds and 10,000 seconds. Remember, we still have uh, still have some exploding parts in the mushroom caves in case we need to reinfect ourselves. Guys, I sure as shit ain't losing anyone to this disease. There's some tobacco. Is it the normal kind of tobacco? Is it chewing tobacco or just a pinch between the cheek and gum? So basically, snuff, kind of. Something that's very popular among some people here over here in Sweden. I stay away from the shit. Oh, hello there. Hmm. I'm not sure what kind of vegetable this is. Identifying it might reduce your anxiety about the way it seems to be staring at you, however. Alright. Think. Is that guy alive? First of all. Poor guy, looks like the bunnies killed him just for fun. Didn't even eat the carrots in his shirt pockets. Next to those crumpled post-its. Alright, he's dead, so... I was worried that maybe he would be alive and we would have to figure out how to not explode these. But it's fine. Post-it notes, Mark II Sven, submachine gun, don't have no submachine guns. I have a submachine gun, but I don't have anyone who can use the submachine guns. One of these. This well-worn adhesive stationery has a few words scrawled on it. PW72779673. Huh. Password? Could be a password. Um. Uh, What do you mean, slight block? Let's go and slice them up. Oh, hello. Now, this is a lot of things. Carefully examining the doors, Athara finds a high security system in lockdown mode. Uh, let's uh, go for the. D uh, disable the alarm. <laughs> Dad, he'll fix it. Let's disable the alarm first, why don't we? Oh, that opened the door. Huh. So disabling an alarm can open a locked door. Because here I was thinking that first you had to disable the alarm and then find a way to brute force open the door. But no, just disabling the alarm acts as a way of unlocking. Interesting. Interesting. What do we have here? Just an electronic lock? That's for Rose. Daddy and Mommy. Might as well just get married then. Army issue backpack. Less combat speed. More water carry. Sorry, more carry weights. Don't really like the Combat speed, but sure. Heavy weapons, 5.556 millimeter ammo. 
I don't think we have anyone who can use heavy weapons. Again, starting to find a lot of things I should invest points in. Oh, that's just a car. Oh, there's something in the corner. It's difficult to see. What do we have here? Junk pants? Tobacco? Mobile phone! A good old 80s mobile phone! And I remember my first mobile phone, it was like this big. Not a flip phone. Just a Nokia, this big. I still have it in a drawer somewhere. And I bet that if I charged it up, it would still turn on. Now, let's see. What are we here? We have this one. No one knows any heavy weapons. You picked up some tobacco. You picked up a lot of the other crap. Mobile phone! With this convenient forearm sized gizmo, you can make a call from anywhere. Junk pants. I mean, sure, if you want to go for that Fallout Raiders look. I sure don't. Yeah, I sure don't. So how are we doing ammo-wise? Do you have more ammo now for some reason? We have the... Oh, that's a trinket. I see. Well, we'll put that over there, just in case. I mean, more carry weight? More water carry? Is that for the entire party, then? I have to assume that it is. Uh, which would make it fairly good. Maybe I can get away with just using it only for... Map? Travel? Hmm. Well, it's gonna be a pain in the ass to remember to always switch it out. I don't know, man. I'll think about it. Okay, stay away from the explode and pod. Never mind. I guess we can get close enough to it without being affected by the explosion. Please, please. Stick garden. My little uh. joke. Though it served as a reminder of how small we wanted to make our plants. Mm hmm. Because it said that these plants don't seem to have been affected by the growth spurt. Well, if they're plastic, makes sense. You wonder what kind of gods would put hair on fruit and if the gods exist. And if they're crazy. Probably. Oh. A colorful assortment of giant plants. They don't seem to be for research. I mean, thinking about it, you almost have to be a little bit crazy to willingly be a god. People are gonna damn you all day. Curse your name for all eternity. Some people will love you, some will hate you. Not that different from being a human, I guess. Wanted poster, did we have one of those before? Yes, angry red clown, dead or alive. Well, well there's more of that bramble stuff. Stacked in neat rows, a curve of sandbags stand between the garden and the open field. There are no flow regulators here. Wait, there's no other way out here. 
out from here, is there? Yes, there is. Over here. I missed this. And I was thinking for a moment that I would have to go down and turn off the fans. Would that still keep the poison gas away? Oh, hello. A small mechanism of pumps and valves. This device must be a part for some larger machine. Are you a flow regulator? You might be a flow regulator. Now, if you explode, are you gonna go boom? Okay, so the game has alluded to that you can are able to do something with these or at least according to Kathy if someone has a green thumb I mean sure Rose seems to be the scientist with the green thumb she seems to be the one who's wait wait why are only some people's experience bars flashing? Uh, she seems to be the one very into the gardening thing, but... But... You're not forced to have her as a follower. So it must be something your characters can do. And if it's something my characters can do... It must be a skill. Skill for botany? I doubt it's combat skills because that just damages things and makes things go either splat or boom. Ooh, heavy ones. What about knowledge skills? Demolitions? For taking care of plants? I mean... You can take care of plants with demolitions, and you can also fish with demolitions, but... It's not gonna leave much to work with. Field medic? Doesn't really make any sense. Because a field medic would be specialized in human anatomy. Maybe even animals, but not botany. Not lock picking, not mechanical repair, not safe cracking. Surgeon is the same as field medic, and toaster repair is for repairing toasters. And why did I? You have that, right? Yeah. Why did I even take that? I could have picked something more useful. I I picked it because it sounded. Weird and cool. You have two skill points on him. Yeah, right. I'm saving skill points to buy this. Because I want more chance to hit. Other skills. General skills. Oh, so that's why some people's lists are different. Because if you take a skill from here, it gets transferred over here. Oh. Oh, okay. So I can't really go into these and look at a full list of skills, because some of the skills will almost always be over here. Let's see. I have to look here as well. Well, general skills, I don't... I th I think you only have kiss ass from here. Maybe perception, maybe... Okay, maybe you have a few. Animal whisper, no. It's in the name, animal. Barter, no. Brute force. Again, that's using force, so no. I don't think we can talk to them. Outdoorsman? 
badass. Weaponsmithing. Could be one of these. You want to find water and live off the land in the wastes? Could be outdoors, man. And since these... Um, are these unlocked by books or something? Or do you need a special combination of skills and then these one open up? Or is it quest rewards or... Uh. I'm thinking maybe Outdoorsman. Um, I have a book of Outdoorsman to give it plus one. But I think Angela... Angela has Outdoorsman. She has two in it. Unlock Scout. Angela, we're gonna risk you being affected here. Select an object to use the Outdoorsman skill. It's not highlighted. Is it because she can't see it? Or does it not work? I mean, it's not being highlighted. Again, so... It's like here. Brute force. So you'd think it would be highlighted? Right? Okay, so if it doesn't work, they won't go there. That's good. So if I do this and do this... Invalid target. Okay. So can't use the outdoorsman skill for that. So everyone, move out. We are going to... But it feels like this is gonna go boom! In that case... Might as well take someone who's already... Uh, you have 9,000 seconds left. Take it. Go, go, go. Take it, take it. Just... Hey, that worked. And what was it we picked up? I don't know, because I clicked distribute all. Flow regular error, perfect. Is there anything else in here? Now I can actually shoot it. Shoot it, because now I don't care. Oh. Well, I hope that didn't damage whatever items were inside. Get in there! Dang it. Loot! Loot that thing. Get some crushed cans. And uh, we got some glass shards. It feels like I destroyed whatever was inside. Mm, that feels bad. Again, how the hell do I get rid of these? Because it sounds... It sounds icky. I was about to say, it sounds like there's something on the other side, but no, there could be something on the other side. Why else would there be brambles in the way? Oh well, we got the flow regulator. Let us move back to the thing. There wasn't... Okay. Let's see, do we need to be... That's the Westfield pump generator. You'll want to find some way to replace the broken flow regulator and slow it down. It looks like the regulator is fried, but you may be able to override it using the control panel over there, if you have the skill. That was my next question. Do you need a particular set of skills to do this? Heck, if you could repair the pump, you could 
probably stop the flow, or maybe you could use the computer to kill the power and shut it down that way. How about we... Um... I mean, Rose is the computer gal. Computer science? 62% medium, 10% chance of critical failure. How many skill points do you get per level? It could be worth leveling up. Just to give her another point in computer science. You get five skill points per level. I think we're gonna get some field promotions. It is time. Copy Echo One. This is Ranger Command. Go ahead. Over. Just checking in to let you know that we're making progress and still on the trail over. Echo One, your team's recent progress merits a number of field promotions. I saw plus one perk points. Congratulations, Echo One. You've done well. Thank you, sir. Make a one out. What is this perk? Perks are special upgrades you'll be able to pick for your rangers when they level up. Perks typically give you a better effectiveness at a certain task or give you a special bonus in specific situations. Unlocking perks require perk points which you'll earn every fourth level up. Some perks have skill requirements to unlock or require other perks. Mm -hmm. And I see here that it says two perk points remaining, meaning Which we can infer that you can save the perk points like you can save skill points. You don't have to use them right away. Rose, you're gonna put one more skill into computer science, alright? Uh, cold eye. I want to put more points into everything here. I'm gonna save your skill points. I want to put more points into everything here. Well, that lets us unlock trained physician. We have unlocked on the mend. What does on the mend do again? 10% effectiveness from healing items. On yourself. Trained physician. Minus 25% per survival status effect duration. Duration could be good if we use surgeon in battle, I guess. So if you surgeon someone back to life, they're gonna have resurrection sickness. Hmm. You definitely need to increase your chance to hit. Now me, I need some more leadership. But if I take leadership, I cannot increase my assault rifle skill. What is full metal jacket? Uh, no. Oh, I have... Plus two kiss ass! Just, just like that? I only need to increase kisses to 8 to have 10, or will it benefit me over 10? It was 10, right? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yes. Full metal jacket is what I was looking for. The rifles are loaded with some extra special sauce that hits enemies that much harder. Plus one armor penetration when using assault rifle. Ooh. Then again, I haven't seen anyone with armor yet, so less ooh. Plus ten damage to enemies in cover. Ten percent chance of finding bonus ammo when looting party wide. <gasps> Have to buy a 
this much ammunition. Why do you have that one? Does everyone have that one? Everyone has that one. Does that stack? One, does it stack? Two, is it cumulative or multiplicative? Because if it's if it's cumulative, that would give me forty percent chance of finding bonus ammo. If it's multiplicative, not as not as good. Because that would be like if I have one percent chance now, that would give me like take it on one person, one point one percent chance, and that's not cool. I don't dare take this one. I don't dare. Since I don't know... Just armor? Comper character level retroactive. Ooh. Now... Plus one con per character level. Ah, never mind. I was thinking that... Because I think it's strength... Yeah. Strength gives you... Plus max con per level. I was thinking that if you increase strength all the way and then take that one, then you get more. But no, it's one per level. Learn to read. I do want this and this and this and this and this. That's a tough one. That's a toughie. I could go the min-maxing route, or I could go and try go the... Tr could go try go. Good. I could try to go more of an RP route, which would mean in this case that maybe I've been a little bit better at de detecting things, so I could increase perception. And people have been following my orders pretty well, so I could increase some leadership. I haven't been that good at shooting yet, so can't increase it, so... I mean, that, that could actually be a little bit fun. Try and do it more RP-wise on all the characters. Except in cases where I really, really, really want to increase the... Like the... Rosa's... Um, uh, 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 Diskette's skill. Yeah, let's try and do it a little bit RP-wise, instead of trying to min-max. This, right now, you've been very good at detecting things, so you detect things even harder. And save a few skill points so we can get better at skills even before getting field promotions. As well, Sathara, you we've already decided that you were good at cutting things, yes. Bills, what have you done? You have definitely not been handgunning. You have been handgunning, but you have missed. You have not been surgeoning. You have not done as much safe cracking and not very much field medicing, so you, you can't increase anything. Cold eye. You did do a mechanical repair, I remember that. And you have been pretty good at shooting things, but uh, we need to wait a little bit then. 
I guess I can do that for my party members and then for followers. No, let's let's do that the, all the way. What has Angela done? Angela has been blunt weaponing a whole lot. She's been hitting things with Ace's wrench. Perfect. That's what we do. All right. And now we're committed. Rose. 77% easy, 5% critical failure. That means if you go by XCOM rules, this is going to be a critical failure. Please don't. It was a failure. So much for 77%, eh? Calling the Rangers. You're actually making progress. One field down, one to go. Now head back through the basement and the other ventilation tunnel to the east field. Once you shut down the irrigation there, we'll really start getting this thing under control. Through the other ventilation tunnel? We're gonna have to turn up the fan then. I was so scared that, uh... Wait. Wait. I shut it down. I didn't use the flow regulator. I actually thought using this would install the flow regulator, but no! You overrode the pump's computer and slowed the tainted flow. If you squint, you can almost see the plant starting to recede. Well, Rose, at least you got it up and running. So that's something. Or, well, down and not run. Running. Save often! The game offers three quick save slots, one auto save, and uh, if we turn this. Can I turn this off? I can. Is the poison gonna come back? No, the poison's gonna stay gone. Good. This huge fan looks like, like like looks like it could blow away an armored car. All right, I was a little bit too eager there. Did I miss anything in here? I am prone to missing things. Seems mm, I'm gonna have to. Man. Oh well. Access violations. Open the east airlock. Thank you very much. This one has four fans that need to be activated. One out of five be activated. I mean, I guess I could run through with the entire squad, but I'm gonna do like we did before. I I leveled again. I guess we earned enough experience to almost level twice. Cool. Did we do this one? Right, this was the... Yeah, she definitely did not do any safe cracking. You failed, Pills! Shit. Okay. Enormous fans fill the wide, wide duct from wall to wall. One near the back spins viciously fast. It makes you feel like a blade of grass staring down a lawnmower. Okay, fine. Everyone get in here. Run here, everyone. I'm gonna take this poison damage like a squad. Oh, 
Oh, hello. So we can engage two of the fans here. That would be three, and we just need two more. Computer voice intones, warning, breach in main tunnel, fail safe, airlocks engaged, closed main tunnel, hatch to disengage as you approach. Closed main tunnel hatch? You mean this one? Those are not very secure. You can see the hole in them. Are we allowed to go in here now? A flashing red light informs you that this airlock is hard locked. It might have something to do with the busted door in the main shaft. If someone can get that close, the interior doors should open automatically. There's a busted door in the main shaft? Oh, you're talking about this one. Well, phooey. That means I have to turn these off. And go and get poisoned. Come on, squad. I don't think I've ever been inside these tunnels. Those fan blades are fearsome feats of engineering. They sure are. How about we... Come on, pills. Do some safe cracking. Show us what you can do. Yeah, I said show us what you can do. Pills, for fuck's sake, can you safe crack this door? No, vines and creepers have forced this hatch open, which has caused the airlocks in the other shaft to close. If you shut them open, everyone get in here. I can't I can't even go through this door, man. Everyone get in here. So that I can see what the hell it said. Brute force maybe? Or something trickier. I tried to safe crack the door, but that sure as hell didn't work. Everyone out here? I guess we brute force the door then. That works. Oh, okay. That was not a... The other ones kind of have a... Like a loading bar, very smooth. That one was very... Very old loading bar, choppy-like. Right, can we turn these fans on now? Is that our blood? Never mind, it magically disappeared. There's no blood on these walls. I can hear something squelching. Oh, I see what's going on here. There are vines there. Which I need to fix. Slice them up. Right. Anything else? Can we start these up? That should be all five, right? Yes. As the final fan spins to life, you feel air start to push through the tunnel. The noxious fumes dissipate rapidly. 
Wiring running from each of the fan control switches terminates in this circuit breaker. If you need to shut down all the fans in this tunnel, you've come to the right place. Well, I don't wanna. Because there is one room which I didn't go into. All the way over here. Oh, dear me. Now, this area looks like a library, except instead of books, there are stored seeds on the shelves. Interesting. Well, unless you were looking for a library, in which place, this place sucks. And also, there are things here. This is where we keep our failed experiments. Uh -huh. Some odd stuff in here. Uh -huh. Well, you know what to do. I meant for you to hit, Cold Eye. I meant for you to hit. Don't want to get too close here, because these are gonna go boom. Actually, I think we should let them go boom. There we go. Sure, you're immune to infestation, but you still took damage. Now that's the what matters. Cold eye. Calmly. Aiming for a superfly. He lines up his shot and hits. Cold Eye's aim is true and the bullet strikes a superfly, causing 34 points of damage, ridding the land of another filthy menace. Noise. Well done, I think we can actually wait for another field promotion and then you can increase your uh, sniper skill, because you have been doing some good hits, my lad. Hill's just gonna wait there. Run forth and slice. Slice. I said slice. That was not nice. You? That's fine, just gives Bills more chance to hit. And we have another scientist researcher over there. Now, we... We can't talk to him. We can't slice him up. You think we can outdoor spend them? No. That's stupid. Because these are mutated plants. I'm just gonna hope that they're gonna stop growing whenever I fix whatever is wrong here. Uh, who is it? Who is it? Is it a friend of mine? Zwish! Indeed. Indeed, Superfly. Angela, bonk. They're just making fun of me now. And of course, they're hitting with everything. Cold Eye. Show us what you got. Shoot that Superfly. Just calmly, calmly get in position, get comfortable. Aim and your bullet will fly true. Yeah, do the weapon jammed. Can we unjam it? 
No, because it costs 7 AP to unjam it. Shoot it, pills. How, how can you miss a maggot that is standing right in front of you? I have never held a gun in my entire life and I'm pretty sure that if I had a gun and stood just aiming down at a maggot, I could hit it. Especially a maggot as large as that one. Ooh, pills, you disappoint me. I am so disappointed. Thank you, Sithar. No, don't go for cold eye. You disgusting piece of slime! Oh no. I must put you out of your misery. I have no sympathy or empathy for a freaking superfly. To be honest. Just bash its eyes in? Angela, we, we, we went through this, you... Oh, come on. We even increased your blunt weapon skill because you were so good at hitting, you were blunting people and things and maggots. Now suddenly you're not. Oh. Ugh. Nice uppercuts. Now get out of Cold Eye's way. Because Cold Eye is gonna unjam his weapon and then do nothing. Bills is gonna reload and do nothing. I could get three hits with this. Or just two with this. Could potentially do 30 damage versus 45. 30 damage? 30 or 30? Yeah. I swear, the only saboteurs in the Ag Center are the ones on my side. Thank you. <laughs> oh, she did a little twirl, a twirl, twirl. And we've been trying to give it to this candy ass. Thank you. Smash its ugly compound eyes into its brain. No rose, no rose, no rose. Please, for the love of everything, don't. Jeez. E. Science is creepy. Yeah, agreed. Very beneficial, but also very creepy. Or it can be. What did we find here? The red herb appears delicate, like it might fall apart if you picked it wrong, but if you pick it right, it might be full of healthful vitamins and minerals. Now I just need a green herb as well. So you can use outdoorsman skill here. So we can use it for botanical things. So what did we get? With cautious fingers, you pluck the red herb and it remains intact. Red herb surgeon. 
Select the surgeon skill or right click to use. Surgeon 1 removes all disease effects. Cool. All disease effects? Well, this is unique though. Are there other diseases? Is that what you're telling me? Okay. Ooh, is is this a is this a green herb? The sample here reads piranha plant. Eight bits. Is that you, piranha peats? The sample here reads Trifid. It's clicking to itself. Pikmin. Really? Pikmin reads the name on the label. Each letter is written in a different color. Well, unless you're colorblind. So do you have a blue Pikmin and a blue red Pikmin and a yellow Pikmin and a white Pikmin and a purple Pikmin? I've only played up to Pikmin 2. Never played 3 or 4, so I don't know if there are more colors. Isn't there isn't there a black Pikmin now? The white one was poisonous, the purple was extremely heavy. Yeah. A nice little Easter eggs. So that one is if that one blows up, you're dead. We don't want that. So even if we could use some sort of outdoor skill on you, uh, you would die from that one because we would be too close. So we're going to leave you alone. The green herb appears delicate, like it might fall apart. See, we have a red herb and a green herb. <laughs> All the freaking references everywhere in this game. I love it. Heals 18 to 70, 27, not 77, but 27 points of con. Pills has received mixed herbs. You combined a green herb and a red herb to create mixed herbs. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, man. Heals 90 to 103 points of constitution. Oh, I love it. I love this game. Whoop. Well, we're gonna leave you alone, Trooper. Hope you don't mind. Because we have a... East field to go to. Still trying to find the history of Ag Center 1. We have the history of Ag Center 2, but not the other one. Oh, hey, Scorpion, you're too late. High pool is ours now. Wrecking crew rules. Come and get us, motherfuckers. <laughs> okay, smash this thing. Let's go party. I think High pool is fucked. That just means we have so much more raiders, so many more ma so many more raiders for Cold Knight to kill! Pipes and boilers! Choke this room like overgrown plants, not to mention the overgrown plants. Seems like doing that set off an attached trap, if anyone asks. You meant to do that, right? Is this not the pump thing? Do we need to... Is there gonna be an, an east field like just like there was a west field? Still no way for us to get through these. East field. What awaits us in the east field? 
Having trouble keeping your bearings? No, as long as. I'm having trouble hearing you. Can you repeat that over? Because that was damn low. Ha uh ha. -huh. Perhaps we can find some ammunition. Yes. I want all of those, please. Don't want to distribute them to Angela Death. We can't even hit with her pipe wrench. Right, so we have a dead cow. Poor cow. And sounds like this is gonna be filled with exploding pods. We have tomatoes. This is where we grow our feed and house our animals. Few remain alive, I fear. Tomato store from Shenmu. Yep, we have some... Yep, a lot of exploding parts. I haven't heard anything about any people there. Good, good, good. Please unlock that. Failure? You're a failure? No, she isn't. I'm starting to believe she might be. There we go. So what do we have in here? Oh no. Another one of them. I'm just here to loot, Onkai. A spiked helmet? Clothing? Spiked helmet? Oh, hell no. That's fugly. Maggot flesh, white and mushy. Protect your noggin from a noggin. Okay. Maybe I should leave this well enough alone. We have a top hat. actual top hat. Wearing this hat makes you want to emancipate the wasteland. <laughs> oh dear. Also, I get a haircut. See that? I'm gonna get a buzz cut when I, when I put it on. I see. I see, I have, I have a bit of hair there now. Ah! No hair for me! <laughs> Is he gonna do the same to everyone else? I mean, she has goggles on her head, and she has kind of long hair, and she puts it on. Oh, she has a buzz cut! That's not a top hat! That's kind of the kind of, that's, that's actually the kind of hat I wanted on my character! That's not a top hat! The, clo the clothing looks different if it's on... Different genders? Or is it just characters? Nope, genders. I mean, sure. That actually fits with your gas mask a little bit. Can I, can I just sneak on by here? I'm just gonna let you be there. Alright. Doing fine. 
Can I actually use the outdoor skill on you? I can. That's interesting. That's a 61% chance, though. I could use the book to gain plus one outdoorsman skill. But she's a follower. She's not a squad member. I don't know if she's gonna be here forever. Or maybe at some point I get another follower I want to use instead of her. And I mean, you gotta be able to rescue them without having the outdoorsman skill, right? Can't be wholly dependent on that one. Because what if you tell Angela Death to go fuck herself when she wants to join you? I'm gonna leave you there. Oh, I'll suffer the consequences. This pasture has been overrun with vegetation. You can hear things moving through the undergrowth. Like, yeah, if I can't save them any other way, I'll suffer the consequences. I'll, I'll face the consequences. I'll definitely suffer the consequences, but I'll, I'll face them, okay? Computer science, 100%, instead of 63% for... Yeah. You know. Cyber scrounger, four energy cells, nice. <laughs> Take that plant. Yes, I saw this one. What exactly am I looking for here? Because we found, kind of found a pump in the basement, but that didn't seem to be it. And Phils is getting a shit ton of ammunition. She has 97 bullets. Usable in pistols, revolvers, and SMGs. Maybe we should give you some uh, SMG, because we have an SMG here. 7-8 damage times 4. 28% hit chance! Never the hell mind! We already suck at hitting, we don't need... Oh, are you gonna go pop? Up goes the pigeons. No? No. We don't need more handicap. Oop. Up went the pigeons. Yep. I mean, we could reach in there and pick up some more pigeon shit. How about we don't? We know that there's pigeon shit over here if we ever need it. Why would you need pigeon shit? Serve my ammo? I do have, still have 40 shots. Don't quite know what I'm looking for in these fields. Maybe a more zoomed out view would help. But that also lowers the ambience and kind of kills the mood a little bit. So I don't, I don't like being zoomed out. Maybe I should actually use pills for that, since he has so much ammo. Pills, you are now on pod dispatching duty. Understood? Hello, Superfly! Well then, you know what that means. Angela Death, move up right there, Rose over there, Sethara here, Pills can hide behind these hay bales as well, stay here, and you, shoot the super fly! 
Nice! That's how we want to start. Let's see what we can do here. We do have some ammunition still for you, Angelo. So we could fire upon this maggot. But we're gonna go bash its head in. Because that's what you do, right? That's not what she does. Hold I show her how it's done. That's how you do it. Oh, I just saw something. A regular reload action for cold eye costs five. But when it was jammed, it costs seven. So a jamming costs more than just reloading. Not cool. Slice. Nice. That was... Surprisingly few enemies. Slashing like a berserker, Sethara gashes a Mega Maggot, causing 14 points of damage, opening it up from a hooked mouth to bulging abdomen. Ew. Ew. I think we found... Do I have a map? M for map? M for map. Ooh, this field is huge! I have a house. I have a windmill? Why is that marked? Can I go inside the windmill? Nope, it's just a windmill with a sunflower outside. Nothing more. So we're gonna investigate this entire field and try and find what we're looking for? Sure. But we're gonna do that next time. See, we have a lot of bugs, we have a lot of pods. We haven't seen any pod people for a while. Thank whatever deity you believe in. So... That's a, a relief, at least. We, we found three researchers, I think. One named and two just researchers caught in vines that we have to figure out how to get them loose from. Could use the outdoorsman skill, but one of them is close to a an exploding pod. So that's not really an option unless we want to kill that guy. Hmm. So there must be... Another way, apart from using the outdoorsman skill. I just need to figure out how. Next time, like I said. Thank you for being here and thank you for watching. I appreciate it very much. Please take care of yourself, be kind, and I hope that you have a fantastic day. Laters.